college dropout who makes videos for YouTube. I'm going places. They used to be my bio on Twitter and basically all of my social media back in the day. I stopped using it because I didn't want people, especially my young viewers, to think that I was promoting dropping out of college because education is great and college does seem to be like the best thing for most people. But anyway, that bio referenced two big decisions I made in my life, dropping out of college and starting doing YouTube, which led a lot of people to believe that those two were connected. Back in the day, a lot of people thought that I drop out of college to pursue my YouTube career. But of course, people didn't know is there was a two year gap between me dropping out of college and me up uploaded my first YouTube video. What I did during those two years, I don't like talking about too much. When someone asks me why I dropped out of college, I'll just say to pursue other projects. And the reason I don't really like talking about it is because, well, I failed miserably. <laughs> oh, how spectacularly I failed. See, I don't think there was a single person I knew who thought it was a good idea for me to drop out of college. Obviously. I was in a good university getting a perfectly reasonable degree, but I was stubborn. And I didn't see the point of me getting a degree when this other project I wanted to pursue didn't require it. And so I endured questioning and insisted until I got my way. Let me tell you, teenagers are dumb. <laughs> and so I dropped out and went about pursuing that other project. 18 months later, it was clear that I had failed. And so the weight of my own choices came bearing down on me like an avalanche. Everyone was right and I was a fool. I mean, I didn't actually believe that, but I definitely thought it looked that way. See, most people go about life in autopilot. And as long as you do what society expects from you, if you fail, well, then it's society's fault. But I had taken the weight of my own life upon my shoulders and I had done exactly the opposite of what everyone else said I should do. So now no one but me would be responsible for the outcome of my choices. I couldn't pass on the blame to anyone else. And you know, having been living my life on autopilot up until that point, I was crushed by the responsibility. And I ended up in a very dark place. You know, that's why, you know, I've said before, YouTube saved my life. I honestly do not know where I would be right now if I hadn't stumbled onto YouTube. With YouTube, I experienced success for the first time. And when I decided to end my first channel and start a new one, this one, it felt a lot like dropping out of college again. There was no one who thought it was a good idea. But this time, instead of failing spectacularly, I found greater success than ever. Today, seven years after posting my first YouTube video, I think it's time for me to drop out of college again and go back and give uh, that other project another go. Starting today, that will be my main focus. And you know, I've been thinking a lot about what I would do with this channel in the meantime. I'm definitely not quitting YouTube, I'm a YouTuber and always will be. I love making YouTube videos, but something I've known since before the time I dropped out of college is that I'm terrible at multitasking. I'm the type of person who will go all out in this one thing and forget about everything else. <laughs> when I started this channel, I thought that I might keep up my previous channel as well, but I quickly realized that if I really wanted to make this channel work, then I had to focus all of myself to it. And so I did. I want to say that I'll keep uploading regularly, but if I'm being honest, it is impossible for me to know right now what I'll be able to do or not do in regards to YouTube once I start working full time on my next project. And I don't want to promise anything I don't know I can deliver. And honestly, I don't want that pressure either. After seven years of doing YouTube, sometimes it's hard to enjoy it. I mean, I love making YouTube videos, but the pace at which you have to make them just to keep your head above the water, it's draining. And to be honest, I would really, really love to enjoy YouTube again. No strings attached, just create what you want, when you want it. I think I like that. But we'll see again, it's hard for me to know how everything's going to work once I am, you know, submerged in everything that's to come. But I think it's high time I give this one final shot. Not focus on whether it'll be successful or not, but just focus 100% on making something great. Doing something that I can be proud of, something that truly reflects what I'm capable of doing. Because, I mean, I love doing YouTube, but I've never been a natural at it. I've had to learn how to make good videos. And you know, from time to time, I might actually make one of those. <laughs> this year I have one goal and that is to make cool stuff. So consider this my gap year. 
Of course, I wouldn't be able to do this without the fantastic success I've enjoyed with David Place. This channel is still getting millions of views every month. And I'm sure this will sink it to the ground. <laughs> but I just really want to do this. Give that project another go. And I already have some stuff in the works that I'm super excited about. So worst case scenario, we end up making some really cool stuff. And go broke. But mainly, mainly, mainly making good, good, good stuff. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you understand. I cannot wait to show you what's next. But it might be a bit of a wait till then. Thank you so much for watching David Place for the past four years. It really has been great. I'll see you guys later. Bye.